You. You say you hear, hear where? Told you I'm not coming to London unless I have the backing to come to London. I'm still in Manchester, but probably will be getting there. It's a sister that does, it's a sister that does want me to come there to sit with some barristers. That is the plan, but y'all can make it happen too. I'm watching these, I got my glasses on because there's people in this coffee shop. Let me let y'all see this. There's people in here watching. So they was looking at my table already. So bear with me, okay? Hurry up, let's have a, let's have a watch party with this mother freak because I'm gonna touch on some stuff that might upset some people. Hurry up and share this out to the Marcus Garvey, not the Marcus Garvey, the Frederick Douglass people. Okay. All right. Yeah, ready? Let's get the likes up too, y'all. Well, inbox me or email me Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. Again, Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. My cash app is Sabir Bay. Cash app. Okay. So hurry up, y'all. Let's get these likes up. We got eight people. Let's let's get the shares out. Cause I don't want anybody to miss anything. Cause somebody sent me a video. And let me tell you how, first and foremost, let me give a shout out to everybody in Chester who came out. It was a nice turnout. I appreciate everybody. I was set in the lion's den, literally. And they was doodling on the, listen, one dude was coming at the Moore Science Temple because he called me a Moore Science Temple. I said, brother, it's not Moore Science, bro. And this is not Moore Science, it's history. So I'm going to show you a little bit of photos. Bear with me. That's Mo. Young Mo. This was last night in Manchester. Packed house, man. So. Um. I'm going to do an IG. I just got off of Facebook. So please, y'all, share these videos out. Let people get the real information. I'm still out here in Manchester. It was crazy on this panel yesterday. And I want to thank Brother Marcel. I want to thank my sister Sonia. I want to thank Otis. I want to thank my sister Empress, man. But the event went off great. They are looking and searching for this information. I told people last night, I'm not censoring anybody. Whatever you want to throw at me, throw at me. It was so much information or misinformation put out about Moors. There was so much false information put out because these fake dudes on YouTube and Instagram about Moors. No matter how much falseness the truth will always prevail it was crazy so i i cleared that up it was many people coming to me after asking me questions about the moors the moors science temple blah 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 blah. right they talked about your boy umar johnson like crazy listen to me and i didn't say anything about umar johnson let's make that clear i didn't they brought him up of the fraud and the scams that he was doing i didn't bring it up but one thing I want y'all to start analyzing and challenging these people on social media. I really want y'all to challenge these people because somebody sent me a video of Umar on The Breakfast Club. I love this guy, Monty Woodgrain, but let me help y'all out. Seriously, I got to show y'all Monty. I want y'all to check, check this brother out. And he's from Philly. Same place Umar from, from Philly. I'm from Philly too, but let me, let me help y'all out. I want you to start using black celebrities to represent the opinion of black folks. And I'm very concerned about that because the average rapper is politically uneducated. The average celebrity, actor, entertainer, they are politically uneducated. And even the ones who are politically educated may not have the courage to speak truth to power. So my question to Kanye is you don't have the right to ask that question when you didn't even marry a black woman. You don't I agree have the right with him with that. that Hold up. Now listen to what he said, a black woman. Have anybody ever researched the Kardashians? What is a black woman? Somebody help me out. That's serious. Hurry up and share this video out. Hurry up 
and share this video. Please tell me what is a black woman. Hurry up. Is that, would that be one right there? She's from Ethiopia, but I don't think she called herself black. She didn't. So somebody help me out on what is a black woman. I'm, I'm going to hit the Instagram too. I'm going to hit every avenue because I want to know what a black woman is. Can somebody hurry up and, you know, share this video? Because I want to know what a black woman is. Because don't nobody call themselves black. But if somebody really stopped paying attention to these fake dudes and did their research, their family is Armenian. Armenian. Let me say this one more time. Their family is Armenians, right? Let me, let me, let me take y'all over here for a second. I want y'all to do the research on some things. Do your research on everything. Do your research on everything, right? Help me out. Do your research. You see more? I understand he relating to the people. Why not bring more if you're on a big platform? So what makes people don't call themselves blacks? If I travel, they don't say black. Everywhere I've been, they don't say black. They don't say black. But if you know that these people are more platform because you ain't telling the truth either. Use your platform. Y'all get duped, dude. You get duped. Let me go back. Moors, ancient Egypt, Negro, Negretta. Right? Black and colored, like white, or on the other hand, not the white man's words, but European words. Not the white man, European words. Ethiopian and more were probably used to describe the so-called blacks into the 1500s. Somebody talk to me for a minute. Talk to me for a second. But see, this is what these cats don't do is to explain this to y'all. And what happens, we are our biggest enemy and our biggest problem. Look. We can go. We're going to go a little further than this, y'all. Hold on. Let's go back. This is why people are laughing at us around the world and people are confused because no one is showing the connection. Okay, bear with me. These are Phoenicians, the Persians, Phoenicians, all these people. I was in Carthage. I was in Carthage. But y'all like, see, people jump on these people because y'all don't know how to question these people. And this is why none of these cats want to have me on a, a panel. They don't want Sabir Bay on these panels because I would shut everybody down. Go back to Legacy Radio. Legacy Radio, when the brother said, I had many people on my show, but I don't want to discredit them. But he said, you are like a natural flower. Natural flow on what's going on. So bear with me. What's up, brother Ram? Okay, bear with me. If these cats was honest with themselves, they would actually do this, right? So let me show y'all something else. We're going to get into this too. And I'm going to come to Instagram. My Instagram is real severe bear. I'm going to go to Instagram. Right? So they can come to Instagram and I will invite them on my Instagram page. Bear with me. Give me one second. We're going to open up my Instagram and give them that so they can come there and talk with me. Bear with me. That's my Instagram. father her mother was is dutch Ooh, so all those people if you know the history you'll tie everything together right you'll tie everything together from dutch do you know my family's last name was dutch did y'all know that i'm gonna show you that in one second so i'm over here in the uk so y'all can come to my ig because i can open up my ig just turn on your notifications and my request line will be open on ig real severe bay you see how people don't, see, I'm not even interested in followers, but I got 12K. But let's come back over here for one second. Do some research. Share this to these wannabe scholars out here.
share it. Bear with me. <laughs> let's 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 do this real quick. Kim, why is she not African? You should come to my Instagram. Why is she African? What makes an individual African? You're not African. If you say you're African American, you didn't come from Africa. Talk to me for a second. I told you I'm not the one you want to play with. Sabir is not the one you want to play with. So are three generations, right? Are you African? Are people African Americans when they never came from Africa? Talk to me for a minute. I told y'all. <laughs> I'll wait. I would love to have this dialogue on Instagram. Come to my Instagram. Or oh, I'll be in London soon. I'm in the UK, so no matter where I come. <laughs> Let me help y'all out. But Frederick Douglass' father was a European. Did y'all know that? Frederick Douglass' father was a European. Why Mexican Americans on the race box? I don't even know. Y'all gotta ask ask them people that. Okay, hold up. Bear with me. Bear with me. Let me help y'all out. Karl Marx, who bore the resemb strong resemblance of Frederick Douglass. Y'all should take a picture of that. Undoubtedly came from the Negroid stock. That's, Fred that's Karl Marx, y'all. That's, that's Karl Marx. That's Karl Marx right there, right? Do y'all understand how important this is to travel with the real people? We'll get into that in one second. His nose was broad, his, his hair was frizzy, and his color was dark. He called the Moor. Do y'all understand this? But they said he looked like Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass. Let's come I over here. I probably look like colorful stuff. I don't know what the hell that just did, but bear with me. I'm going to show y'all something on Freddie, Karl Marx. You see, this is Karl Marx. Algiers in late 1882. I want y'all to see, he also owed his own, his nickname, owed his nickname to what? To the Moorish aspect, hold up, of his features. His family and his German friend back home now living in exile in London, him Moore. Hmm, wait a minute. And he signed his letter and his comrade there and the name his three daughters had known him by his since they were children more did this make sense y'all but y'all keep thinking it's about color do y'all really think it's about the color really it's about the color it's about they know who you are Come on, we got 13 people. Let's get some likes on here. We got 28 people on here and 13 likes. I told you, I'm going to mess with you, G. Sabir Bay will definitely mess with you. We got 13, 14 people. Six, come on, let's get the likes up. Hit the likes. Let's get the shares out because I'm going to go to Instagram in a minute. This is the Moore's Chief right in Philadelphia. I'm all we in, I'm all we in the UK. But they keep playing games with y'all. It ain't it ain't always 100% the European, it's our people. It's our people. They know what time it is. They have to sell y'all these dreams because if they don't tell sensationalism or lies, what happens? They won't get no money. They won't get no money from y'all. So here's Karl Marx. Right? Let's go to Frederick Douglass' father. And they justify, say, well, yeah, well, you know, Frederick Douglass, he don't get a pass because, you know, Negroes, it doesn't have nothing to do with who you marry. Nothing to do with who you marry. It's about who preserved the truth. And you look at these black cats as if they're telling the truth. This is Frederick Douglass. Study Frederick Douglass' father. His father, 
not his great grandfather. His father was European, and he, he married a European woman. And they're gonna sit up here and say, "Well, he married her at an old age." What was the old age? Somebody give me the number of the old age. Because if he died at seventy or eighty, how old was he when he married her? Did they ever tell y'all how old he met when he married her? Hmm. Somebody talk to me for maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing something. Help me out. Brother, if the Morris chief never existed, Negro, then you should go to Philadelphia and tell him the Morris chief never existed. That's what you should do. Go to the, the museum in Philly and tell them that never existed. The, I, know you're gonna, I know you're not going to do it, but you will lose playing with me, G. You will lose playing with me. Straight up. You're going to lose this, Bam. You're going to lose. Peace, bro. You're gonna, they're going to lose, G. Trust me when I tell you. <laughs> These niggas, listen, I told y'all, when truth comes, niggas fear it. When truth comes, they fear it. No, I bet you any amount of money, none of these cats, the person that's on here talking smack about the Morris Chief didn't exist, but I bet you didn't go to Philadelphia. Let me show you something. I told you I do this for kicks and giggles. I have fun doing this and make you look like a fool in the process. So you could put me, I told you, in any lion's den, I guarantee you 120% I will come out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Instagram and hopefully you will come on my Instagram too. Hopefully you'll come on Instagram. Or go get me your scholars to come on Instagram. <laughs> and then prove your point step by step. I'll let you talk for 10 minutes. 10 minutes on my feed on IG. 10 minutes. Don't come to me with no bull. Present your facts that it didn't exist. That's why we so far behind, because you got people that don't want to tell the truth. It's a made up painting. <laughs> where's your proof at, bruh? Where's your, where your, where your proof at as a made up painting? I'm waiting for his proof. You can come to IG. Made up painting. Okay. Right. I, they haven't never, you notice they never showed y'all their proof, right? Do y'all do know that, right? Ask, tell them to go to Philadelphia and go in there and tell them the same thing. Tell them it was a made up painting. I bet you they didn't go to Philadelphia. <laughs> Told you you're going to lose with me. You're going to bring me your scholars. You say, I'm a witness, you've been in the trenches. Yeah, I've been in the trenches, G. These cats don't want this work, man. They, they, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm 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 help them. I'm gonna educate them, y'all ready? Y'all ready? So go to the Philadelphia Museum, and then go in there. I want you to go there. I'm not talking over nobody, G. I ain't talking over nobody. I just don't have, I don't have time for fuckery. That's what I don't have time of. So that's all you got to do is go do to prove me wrong. This is what I want them to do. See how that works? I don't have a problem talking over nobody. Just do your research. Speak. Do your research first before you speak. Because it sounds like regurgitated information that the cats be talking. So let me help him out. See, he wants me to do all, all the work first. Hold up. There it is. Could somebody look up the Hiram Guard? Somebody please look that up. Look, I should really go here too. I would just I was just in Marseille, France, but I didn't go up to Paris. They don't hide our information, people. No. They don't hide our information, G. I want him to go see it. And I want him to go research, research it. That's in Philadelphia where I'm born and raised at. 
Here it is right here. Let me help you out. And this is why the people over here was like all the false information that's going on YouTube and Instagram. All the falseness that's going around on YouTube and Instagram. None of these cats showing no proof. So let's go a little further. Hold up. See, this is what happens. Right? Give me one second. I'm going to show you something else. Bear with me. Hmm. Hmm. But see, they got y'all thinking it's just, it was the Arabs when the Arabs was going through the same hell. Do y'all, is this making sense yet, y'all? But y'all weren't about black and white games. They weren't about the black and white game. <laughs> Look, things to keep out of schools in South America. Look. Well, you keep talking smack, brother. Get your facts together and prove it. That's all you got to do is prove it. Let me give you all my Instagram one more time. That's Instagram, y'all. Real severe. I'll be coming over here real soon. Real soon. <laughs> Let me help y'all out. <laughs> Rock with me, y'all. Rock with me. Rock with me. The Moors, a dark race, living in northern part of Africa. See African races. Africa, prehistoric and modern. Their name is derived from the ancient Mauritanians. Mori. He's an ADOS in the building. Oh, I spoke on reparations too. There you go. So, here, hold on. Here it is. Who went to war with black people? Who really went to war with black people? Nobody. Hold up. Let's find some more stuff, y'all. Let's see the more slaves for one second. So when I go to Italy, I'm going to go to the statue of the four Moors. Is this making sense yet, y'all? Is it making any kind of sense yet? These are old books. Old books. The Gulf of Guinea. The Negro slave replaced the Moor slave. So, does this make sense? Did this make any kind of sense, people? Do y'all see that? See, this is what happens, and you can bring out the ignorance of a lot of people. A lot of ignorance to a lot of people. Okay? A lot of ignorance. Just say you don't know. I can rock with that. The Gulf, I mean the Moors of Guinea. So this is, I met a brother from the Congo yesterday. This brother from the Congo said, he said, words have power. This brother said, words have power. He also said, you cannot study or talk about another one's culture if you never went to those places. This is a, I'm going to repeat this for the slow people. He said, you cannot talk about someone else's culture unless you went there and sat with the people. Everywhere I've went, I sat with these people. Just because I'm not talking about it on YouTube and Facebook. Don't think that I don't know. I'm giving y'all nips and bits and pieces of all of this information. But I am open for booking. No doubt. No doubt. Y'all caught up in a colored code caste system to identify people. Let me, let's say it together. A colored code caste system. Let's go into a little bit more books. The Spanish Arabs. Really? Or Moors. Do y'all see that? Hold up. These Spanish Arabs? Wait a minute. Spanish Arabs. Didn't the other pages tell you who they were? But I know these cats don't show y'all history. They keep telling you the black and white, the black and white, the black and white. Spanish. Hold up. Let's see some more. Fourteen eighty one at fourteen eighty three. 
Just dig it. Do a little bit digging. Just dig a little deeper. See, this is the problem with these conscious dudes. They see this information and have to shut the books real fast. Because it doesn't fit it doesn't fit their fake narrative. It don't fit their fake narrative. <laughs> In 16, this is from Ancient and Modern Brits by David McRitchie. It's Ancient and Modern Brits by David McRitchie. In 1681, the Indians of New England, or Moors, as they were also styled by the settlers, were to be pronounced by William Penn to be as black. I'll let you take a picture of that, mother freaking. Take a picture. So, but the problem is, no matter how much you show people this, Niggas ain't gonna go digging Cause you know why They're comfortable They're comfortable than a mother freaking They're comfortable If you study Whatever your name is You know that black is an adjective to describe something You went to school in their public school right You know that black is an adjective to describe something Am I right or wrong Okay I know That's elementary The Moors may still have been Gauls by nationality I was in France, people. Look that word up. G-A-E-L-S. Look it up. I was in France. Look it up. Look it up. I know y'all don't want to. I know this, I know this is not what y'all not used to. I know y'all not used to this. So let's come over here for one second. Let's 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 find the definition. Let's see the various variations of the word more. Let's come up here to find out why white people blacken their faces not only for the Moorish dance but because of the attraction of the dark skin. David McRitchie. I told you I'll bust your bubble in a heartbeat. I will bust your goddamn bubble in a heartbeat. Queen Anne of England and our ladies blackened their faces and arms to the elbow. How could they do this without the internet? We got internet right now and we don't know how to do research. Let's go a little further. Yeah, they are. So what you got to do is correct what the police use. That's all you got to do is correct what the police put out there so y'all don't get it. Let's come up here. M Blackmore. M-U-I-R. M-U-R. Blackmore. Blackmore. M-E-R. Negro. Talk to me for a minute. Moorish blood. Really? So every book that I have, people, let me explain this to y'all. Everywhere I'm going with my books, I'm going to these places. Moorhead, Black Moor. More families in which Negro is used instead of mo somebody talk to me for a minute. Somebody talk to me for a minute. Blackamore, as an adjective describing the more. So all these people, listen to me. All these people are still Moors. Oh my gosh, you don't even understand. You know what, brother? Honestly, I don't even know who you should really come on Instagram. I'm going to get off and get on Instagram. The blacking of the face, people, is to imitate us. They have tannin boosts out here today. Tannin boosts today to imitate us. <laughs> yeah, we out to lunch. They don't use those terms, man. So my, my man told me, that I should go to the Netherlands. He said, yo, you gotta go to the Netherlands and teach these people in the Netherlands about their history. 
You need to go to the Netherlands. So, <laughs> y'all keep letting these people play these games with y'all. It's mad money in the black and white game. It's mad money in playing the black and the white game. There is no black, there is no white. Peace. There is no black, there is no white. <laughs> so, this is my calendar. I want y'all to, and y'all, for booking, y'all can go to the website too. And if you want the calendar, y'all can cop the calendar. The Sabir Bay Show, I have, I have three books coming out. Three books. So, this is the calendar that, you know, I probably, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet, though, but uh, go to the website. You can order your copy. We got to fix this, man. We got to fix these ills, man. It's sad, man. It's so, I'm going to tell y'all something in the States, man. We are an embarrassment, man. I'm going to tell y'all real rap. We are an embarrassment because the world is looking at us in the United States to fix this problem. They are looking for us in the States to fix the problem. There is no white man either. No black man. There's no white man either. No white, no black. Both of them. Damn, niggas, that, you got grown-ass men on here acting like damn children, man. Grown-ass men that don't want to take responsibility. Craziness, man. We're an embarrassment. Do your research, family. I do one-on-ones. You want to pay me? $200 an hour. Go to my cash app. Or you can come on Instagram. Stop with the bull. Go ask your black scholars this question. Now that the why why is that hold on let me explain this why is it that none of these black scholars that y'all watch every day on youtube and instagram and facebook ever come on my facebook instagram and youtube live think about it think about what i'm saying to y'all do you think they don't share my videos to them why don't they come on my instagram and tell me i'm wrong think about it i'm saying this because i want y'all to share it to them think about it if I didn't know what I was talking about, why have a nigga, why are you on here asking me questions for your people and they don't come on the Instagram or Facebook? Think for a minute. It's not against the law. Think about it for a minute. It ain't against the law yet. Thinking is not against the law. Cause I know damn well they watch the videos. Oh, believe me, but they block. They block the videos, and the longer they keep blocking, the more they're gonna lose their people. They're gonna lose their people. So go ahead, keep blocking. Cause they know y'all gullible as hell. They gullible as hell. Somebody said white. Or a black man is not even in a book. Yeah, in a dictionary. Exactly. You know what? They scared to pick up a dictionary. You know what they'll say? It's the white man. They, they Listen. They'll say that's the white man's book, but they're on the white man's Facebook. Did that make sense? Hold up. <laughs> Look. They, on, they, don't, they say it's the white man's book, but they on the white man's Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> Niggas is out to lunch, boy. I told you, I will push your, listen, I will push your wig back, boy. I will definitely push your wig back. I don't not, in, I'm not interested. The Breakfast Club don't want, the Breakfast Club don't want truth. The Breakfast Club don't want truth. You have to understand this. I've been in this radio game for 15 years, and I'm going to keep saying it for some of y'all. 15, radio, not YouTube and blog, not YouTube and none of that crazy stuff. Radio. There is a term called sensationalism. Do you know that they research people? If you want that, then you go share these videos to the Breakfast Club. Share it to them. I'm not interested in the Breakfast Club. My email is sabirbayradio at gmail.com. Sabirbayradio at gmail.com. 
y'all don't understand sensationalism. Do you know that they research everybody? Did y'all know that? Did y'all know they research everybody before they bring them on the club on the show? They do. <laughs> Boy, y'all don't get it, man. Y'all not trying to hear the damn conversation, man. Farrakhan is a Farrakhan. Farrakhan is an elder. That's why they brought Farrakhan on. He's an elder. He's an elder. They didn't bring the young Farrakhan on there. They didn't bring the young fiery Farrakhan on there, brother. Get that right, Hamilton. They didn't bring the young fiery. They brought the 85-year-old minister Farrakhan on there, okay? I was around when the minister was fiery. So do your job, Hamilton. You share the video out to them. Do your job. No backbone having Negroes always got something to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say it again. No backbone having Negroes got nothing to say. Always got something to say about something and never do their research, but sit behind a damn computer in their houses talking crazy. Let me show you my Instagram again, because I'm going to go to Instagram. So anyone can join me on Instagram. The day is Sunday. I'll be going live in about five minutes. Five minutes on Instagram. Real severe Bay. It's, it's sad. It's sad that we think that the Breakfast Club has significance. Exactly. They really do. Because, but listen, Ramsey, you knew me almost, what, 20 years? You knew me for 20 years, brother. I have never buckled. You know that I can go. Listen, I stepped on a platform yesterday, didn't even know. And the sister Empress said, you just stepped into a lion's den. If y'all would have saw that real, that conversation, man, y'all can go to my Patreon also. Real, it's a... Uh, the Sabir Bay Show on Patreon. It'll be up there soon. The Sabir Bay Show on Patreon. So listen, I got a great go. I want y'all to stop believing the hype. Stop believing these fake dudes on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Tell them to come to my Instagram. Tell them to email me. Tell them to come to my Facebook, and we can have this dialogue. Shout out to all my people again that came in no, I'm never salty, brother. I'm tired of lies. Never salty. Stop talking about what. Ask me. That's the problem with you. You should have asked me. Ask me. Then I'll tell you. It's called frustration of the lies. Frustration of lies. Some of these dudes that use profanity, I think they kind of crazy. Every time they turn around and say white supremacy, I think they kind of jealous or mad or something. Maybe y'all need to start questioning them. Why they keep saying white supremacy? <laughs> <laughs> because it sounds like they jealous about something maybe but I'm always happy I'm always happy so I just don't play the color code cast system game but I'm going to go to Instagram okay um, shout out to everybody that came out in Manchester God, I'll be in, in Malta soon Malta if you don't know what that is look it up Malta I'll be going to where the four more is at. I'll probably do a video there. Who knows? So I hope y'all share this out. But I'm going to take my time to go rest up, do IG, open the platform up to IG, to anybody that wants to come on. Stop letting them tell you lies and stories. Today is Sunday. I'm pretty sure they was doing a video or did a video. It's getting ready to do a video. They're going to get on here and get some information before they do their video. Does that make sense? Don't worry about it. Yes, anybody got to pay me, bro. Don't get mad at me. Everybody got to pay me. Don't get mad at me. I know my value. And if I say 10000 it's 10000 Don't worry about what I, what I say or what I charge. Get the hell out of here, dude. All right? Come to Instagram. Real Sabir Bay. Real Sabir Bay on Instagram. I'm just chilling in a coffee shop out here in the UK. Peace to all my UK family. All right? Come to Instagram. 